Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. One aspect of prepping and preparedness that I don't think people talk enough about and certainly don't think enough about is the idea of taking things that we call problems, things that we think about as problems, and looking at them in a different way to figure out whether they might actually be a solution to something else, especially when you can uh, kind of take two problems, marry them together, and they suddenly cancel each other out and create a solution for whatever your situation is. Now those solutions can be complicated, they are really specific on what the situation is, so I can't give you an easy x plus y equals z equation and it's like suddenly there, there's your solution. But I can give you an example, and it's sitting right here behind me. This is a big brush pile. Well, we were having the site cleared for building our house, uh, there was an opportunity for us to pay extra to the, uh, the landscaping people who were, you know, clearing and, you know, pulling up all these stumps and things. We could have paid them extra to take the stuff and haul it to a magical land called Away. Uh, I think it was like $2,000 or so to, you know, take all this, you know, waste material and get rid of it. Uh, I chose not to do that for a couple of reasons. One is I saved $2,000, and the other is that this is not waste, this is valuable material, and it's especially valuable to me right now because what I was also low on, in addition to money, was time. While I was building the house, I did not put any effort into, uh, you know, getting firewood for the house. I, you know, really wanted to get us moved in before the winter, and we are moved in, but we are pretty light on firewood until you look at this pile and say, hey, that's a really big pile of firewood. So I'm out here and I'm just trimming pieces off of this. Now it's not the best firewood in the world. I'd love to have big logs that are already seasoned and dried and sitting in my, uh, my greenhouse or something like that. But it burns and it's keeping us warm. In about a half an hour, I can create enough firewood from this pile to keep us warm for like a day or a day and a half. And there are all sorts of situations that just abound in our world that are like that. And unfortunately, a lot of them are kind of seen as political situations. Like if you have an opinion on it, it's like, oh, that, well, that's a political opinion. Uh, and I'll, I, I don't, I'm not sure why that is. I, I, I'm not sure why that is. I, I, I don't know, but there, there are so many... Uh, issues in our world that people see as being problems where if you just combine them with something else it's like wow you magically have a solution. It, just one example is uh, well here in the United States we like to you know not pay very much for things you know we like to have food that's really cheap uh, and, and to make that food uh, it takes a lot of effort, the jobs of people harvesting food, picking food, it's hard work and because we don't want to pay very much for our food, you know, there's not a lot of pay for that kind of, uh, that kind of work. Uh, and people see that as a problem, you know, they want to keep getting their food for really cheap, uh, but it's hard to get people that want to do the work because it's hard laborious work and it, you know, doesn't pay very well because people don't want to spend very much on the food that they're buying. Um, so that's one problem and then we have this other, you know, quote unquote problem that there are are tons and tons of people that would love to come into this country from outside this country and do those kind of jobs. And, you know, people see that as a problem. We don't want those people in here. And by we, I mean the, specifically the people that have a problem with that. I don't particularly have a problem with it because if you look at those two quote-unquote problems, they seem like they're just waiting to get married to each other. It seems like a solution waiting to happen. Uh, now, not everybody sees it that way. Some people just like to see those two things as being problems. Ah, uh, oh, you know, prices of food are so high. Ah, oh, there's all these people that want to come in and do it for really low cost, <laughs> you know. But if you can uh, see in your life things that can be married together uh, to create a solution out of two things that you see are, are problems, it can make your life a whole lot better a whole lot easier. And uh, one rule of thumb when you're looking for something like that is look at things that we consider as quote unquote waste. Like this stuff, it was considered a waste product. If you think about waste and try to look at it in a different way, oftentimes waste has a lot of value. There's some, there are really great things about waste. This waste is going to be firewood for me, which is free. Uh, you know, it takes my time, but it's free. There's uh, leaves in here, which are going to be wildlife habitat. They're decomposing. They're going to improve the soil. That's what most people would call as waste, to me, seems like an asset. Whether your waste material is a pile of wood or whether your waste material that you want to get rid of is people or whatever, if you can get past the idea of thinking this is waste, I got to get rid of this and think, you know, there's some value there and I think that this, you know, married to another problem could create a solution to, you know, both of those issues, you can make your life a lot easier. <laughs> and that's all I have to say about that. Look in your own life. Are there things that you think of as waste? Do they have value? Can you capitalize on that value and use that knowledge, that different perspective to make your life easier? That's it. Thanks for watching. This episode is brought to you in part by Burning Hearth Homestead, a nonprofit that aims to provide seeds, live plants, and education to the community, both local and extended. Plant seeds, plant knowledge, plant the future. 
If you'd like to thank them for supporting this channel or find out more about what they do, go to burninghearthhomestead.org. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.